after she got kicked out of school, her dad fought back. After receiving a surprising phone call, Tony Allerkin hurried over to his daughter's school. Moments after arriving, Tony walked into the front office only to catch the school's principal screaming at his little girl. Seeing his daughter's face in tears was enough to throw Tony into a rage. He rolled up his sleeves and prepared for a fight. Tony's daughter, Demetra, had been sitting in class that morning, listening to her teacher's lecture like usual. Suddenly, the room went quiet, prompting the students to look up from their notebooks. The class realized the instructor was staring right at Demetra, whose face immediately went red. What's the problem? Demetra, said the teacher, with a defiant tone. Yes, Demetra asked, confused and already embarrassed. She could hear her classmates whispering around her. Sadly, her instructor's response would end up bringing her to tears. You are in violation of the school dress code, said Demetra's instructor, causing the entire classroom to gasp. Demetra was shocked as well, having nearly forgotten what she had on that day. She immediately looked down and examined her clothes. What dress code exactly was she violating? According to her instructor, Demetra's blue romper was far too short. So short, in fact, that her teacher insisted on stopping a lecture to bring attention to it. Plenty of Demetra's schoolmates were wearing similar outfits on that 90-degree morning. Why weren't they being singled out? Demetra couldn't believe what was happening. She'd worn similar outfits many times and didn't think there was anything wrong with her clothing choice. In fact, neither did her father, who'd dropped Demetra off himself just that morning. What was this instructor's issue? As if being called out in class wasn't embarrassing enough, the teacher decided to send Demetra to the principal's office. Feeling a sudden sense of shame, Demetra stood up and walked out. By the time she arrived at the office, the principal was waiting there angrily. The teacher had already told the principal everything, leaving Demetra helpless. She attempted to defend herself, but the principal accused her of being disrespectful. The principal decided to give Demetra's father a call to explain the situation. Tony was at work when he received the school's phone call. When the principal mentioned Demetra's outfit, Tony was confused, thinking perhaps Demetra had changed into something scandalous after he dropped her off that morning. To Tony's surprise, the principal had given him an ultimatum. The principal told Tony one of two things was going to happen. Either Tony would pick up Demetra from school, or someone would bring her a change of clothes. Tony agreed to bring her a new outfit, though he was already questioning the judgment behind the school's punishment. Tony left work and headed straight to the house to find Demetra a new outfit. He grabbed the first items he could find in her dresser, which were a plain tank top and denim shorts. Surely, these items were an appropriate choice for his daughter's comfort on that sweltering hot day. Tony left the house and headed to his daughter's school. When he arrived, he saw a familiar figure standing at the school gate. His daughter, Demetra, was right where he'd dropped her off that morning, only this time, she was in tears. Tony handed the new outfit to the crying Demetra who bolted inside to change. Tony decided to have a chat with the principal. After parking, Tony headed out into the front office where he spotted Demetra in her new outfit. Yet she was still in tears. Tony was shocked when he found out why. The principal didn't notice Tony when he walked into the office. She was in the middle of screaming at Demetra for choosing yet another inappropriate outfit. Tony, having picked out the outfit himself, was outraged. The principal was shocked when Tony made himself known. The principal insisted Demetra's new outfit was also too short for the school's dress code, so Tony fired back. I asked Demetra to bend over and touch her toes, Tony told today. Nothing is hanging out. Nothing is inappropriate. I don't understand this dress code rule. The principal once again adjusted her reasoning. The fingertip test. This time, the principal said the shorts didn't pass the fingertip test, which meant Demetra's fingers couldn't dare pass the length of her shorts. And yet, girls walking in the very halls next to them were wearing similar outfits, which Tony pointed out himself. That's when the principal let something slip. The principal called Demetra's outfit a distraction. Tony perked up and calmly asked the principal to repeat herself. Realizing her blunder, the principal did her best to rephrase. Tony asked who exactly was being distracted by Demetra's clothing. The principal's answer left Tony furious. The principal admitted Demetra's outfits were too distracting for the boys at school, which Tony found damaging. We have to have dress codes that don't cause girls emotional issues, cause them to question their bodies or feel like they're sex symbols at 13 years old. 
said Tony, because they're not, they're just kids. Dimitra also stood up for herself, mentioning how the dress code rules were never enforced on boys who, for example, wore baseball caps, which were banned or inappropriate shirts. Still, the principal forced Dimitra to wear a pair of leggings for the rest of the day. Tony decided the fight had just begun. Tony went to the media and threw the school into the spotlight. The father and daughter appeared on Today and local news stations with their complaints, forcing the school to put out a statement. The Los Gatos Union School District believes that appropriate dress and grooming contribute to a productive learning environment. Despite the school's efforts to push back, the principal has since held meetings to reevaluate dress code ethics with parental input. He considered cases outside the walls of his own school, too.